Hello, my favorite kindergartners. It is Mrs. Sharani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you? I hope that you're doing really well. I am back today with a fun lesson about the number nine again. Today we are going to be practicing writing the number nine. So if you have something to write with and write on so that you can practice along with me, that would be really fun. If not, that's okay. We can always write in the air like we used to, right? So today we are going to be doing a little bit more counting with the number nine and then practicing writing it. Um, today's lesson should be quick, short and sweet, but it should be fun and still meaningful and purposeful too. All right, let me share my screen with you and we'll get started with our fluency warm up. We'll do our application problem. We'll do a quick, super quick concept development with counting some beans in the number nine, with the number nine, and then we'll practice reading the number nine, and we will talk about what we learned, and then you'll do your exit ticket for the day. So it should be short and sweet, but still some good math work. All right, so our goal will be to count nine objects in a circular and in a scattered configuration, and we will write the number nine, and we'll work on drawing that counting path. I liked drawing a counting path last time. I liked showing you that. Um, so I'll do that again today as well. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, this is a fun math game. It's called Roll the Dice, and then we'll count the number of dots that we rolled, and we'll find the matching number card and move it to the box. All right, I hope this works. It worked earlier. So if I click right, oh, there we go. Ooh. So there are five there and two on that dice. Five and two is seven. Yes. All right, let's do it again. We'll do this two more times. Let's roll again. One and five. One and five is Six, bye bye seven, hello, six. Good, all right, let's do this one more time. Five and zero, five and zero is five. <laughs> Still five, that was a funny one. I wasn't expecting to get that. Okay, let's move on to our application problem. Ooh, okay. It says draw five silly shapes and four more silly shapes. Okay, let's start with just five. Okay, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I drew five kind of different shaped or different sized stars. And next, I will do some hearts and four, five and four. Okay, ready? Four, count with me. One, two, three, four. All right, now how many shapes do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine shapes all together. Five, count on, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. All right, now let's work with these silly beans again. Let's take five beans out of the back and we will put them right here. One, two, three, four, five. All right, got five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's take four more out. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so how many are left in the pack? Just one little lonely one. <laughs> okay, so we have five and four. How many total do we have? Let's make a counting path. Let's make a counting path. And I'm gonna use my pen to show you. So let's start here and stop here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There is my counting path. 
so you can see when I connect it like this with a line, it, it um, shows me for sure which ones I counted and I can look back at this line and see I didn't count or I didn't skip any of them, right? Okay, I'm gonna erase my line here now and let's put them in a circle. And right now they're scattered. Let's put them in a circle around the edge of the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now here, I wonder what your opinion is. Do you find it's easier to count things when they're in a circle like this, or do you find it's easier to count things when they're scattered? What do you think? A friend, one friend might say scattered, one friend might say in a circle. Either one is fine. I'm just curious what your opinion would be. Hmm. All right, let's practice writing the number nine now. So let's make it with your finger in the air first, and then if you have something to write with and write on, you can do that too. And hoop and a line, that's the way we make a nine. A hoop and a line, that's the way we make a nine. That's a good one. So this number nine is made up of a curvy line and a straight line. So let's practice together. Ready? A hoop and a line, that's the way we make a nine. Now, some people might go, a hoop and a line, that's the way we make a nine, but I like to just use one stroke and not pick my pencil up. A hoop and a line. See how I just trace that same thing back? I think that's fine. A hoop and a line, that's how we make a nine. I like to not lift my pencil or my marker up at all when I'm doing that. A hoop and a line, that's how we make a nine. A hoop and a line, that's how we make a nine. A hoop and a line, that's how we make a nine. <laughs> Good work. All right, let me show you your problem set for the day today. Okay, so, whew. Now here's where I asked your opinion if you thought it was easier to count things in a circle in an organized fashion or scattered. Because I look at this and this looks a little difficult for me to count, but I think you can do it. So form a counting path, count how many dots, and then choose how many. Count, choose. Oh, wrong. Mrs. Shrine's wrong. Let's read the question. How many more dots do you need to make nine? Oh, it's so important to be sure that you know what you are doing, huh? That's why I saw this and I thought, hmm, that's not right. That's not the question I wrote. How many dots do you need to make nine? Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five. How many more dots do we need if we want nine? You could draw it when you're trying to figure it out and then choose. Count how many, and that's it. All right, so just one kind of sneaky question in there. Okay, great job counting nine today. We did five and four makes nine. We will do some more work um, next time that we are together. And if you wrote your number nines on paper, send them to me. I would love to see them. Thank you, thank you for all of your super hard work in math. You guys are doing so well. I know that it can feel kind of odd to learn math through a video, but I'm so proud of everybody's hard work. Thank you for following along with me and for working so hard, even when I make mistakes sometimes because I'm human, right? And everybody makes mistakes as long as we learn and we grow from them, right? But that is the most important. So I'll see you guys all very soon with our next math lesson. Have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Adios.